How to calculate volume of concrete for staircase. The staircase is one of the important components of any building structure. The stair provides easy access from one level to another level above or below. In this video, I will explain how to estimate concrete volume and quantity of cement, sand, aggregates for a staircase. Before starting the estimation, we need to know the different components of a staircase that I will use in this calculation. Components of staircase 1. Step It is a combination of tread and riser which permits ascent and descent from one floor to another. 2. Tread the upper horizontal portion of the step over which foot is placed during ascending or descending a stairway is known as the tread. 3. Riser The vertical member of the step is known as the riser. It is used to support and connect successive treads. 4. Rise The vertical height between two consecutive treads is known as rise. 5. Landing A horizontal platform between two successive flights of a stair is called landing. Landing is used as a resting place during the use of the stair. It facilitates the change of direction of the flight. Landing which extends for the full width of the staircase is known as a half-space landing. Landing extending for only half the width of the staircase is known as a quarter-space landing. 6. Nosing. It is the projecting part of the tread beyond the face of the riser. Nosing is usually rounded to give a good aesthetic effect to the treads and make the staircase convenient and easy to use. 7. Going. The horizontal distance between without the faces of two consecutive risers is known as going of steps. 8. Flight. A continuous series of steps without any break between landings or landing and flooring is known as flight. 9. Waste The thickness of the RCC slab over which steps of RCC rest is known as the waste. Standard Staircase Dimensions The general rule in the U.S. is 7 inches 17.78 centimeters for the riser and 11 inches, 27.94 centimeters, for the tread. More exactly, no more than 7.75 inches, 19.7 centimeters, for the riser, vertical, and a minimum of 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters, for the tread, horizontal or step. Let's take an example. Height of floor equals 12 feet. Height to be acquired by one flight equals 12 divided 2 is equal to 6 feet. Height of risers equals 6 inches equals 0 0.5 feet. Number of risers equals height of flight divided by height of riser equals 6 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 12 numbers. Length of tread equals 12 inches equals 1 feet. Number of treads equals number of risers minus 1 equals 12 1 equals 11 numbers. Thickness of waste slab equals 6 inches equals 0 0.5 feet. Length of step equals 5 feet. 1. Volume of concrete for steps. Number of steps equals height of flight divided by height of riser equals 6 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 12 numbers. Number of steps equals number of risers. Volume of one step equals one half, times tread, times riser, times length of step. One half, times one, times 0 0.5, times five, equals 1.25 cubic feet. As we have 12 steps in a flight. Volume of steps for the first flight equals 12 times 1.25 is equal to 15 cubic feet. 2. Volume of concrete for waste slab. 
To calculate the volume of concrete for the waste slab, we need to know the inclined length of the waste slab. The horizontal length of waste slab equals tread, times number of steps. 1, times 12 is equal to 12 feet. Inclined length of waste slab equals square root of, height squared plus, horizontal length squared, equals square root of, 6 squared plus 12 squared, equals 13.41 feet. Alternative method. Hypotenuse equals square root of, opposite, squared plus adjacent squared. The hypotenuse of one step equals square root of, 0 0.5 squared plus 1 squared equals 1.118. Inclined length of waste slab equals 1.118 times number of steps. Inclined length of waste slab equals 1.118 times 12 is equal to 13.41 feet. The volume of concrete for waste slab equals inclined length of waste slab, times width of waste slab, times thickness of waste slab. Equals 13.41 times 5 times 0 0.5. Equals 33.525 cubic feet. The volume of concrete for first flight equals volume of concrete for steps plus volume of concrete for waste slab. 15 plus 33.525 is equal to 48.525 cubic feet. 3. Volume of concrete for landing of staircase. Length of landing equals 10.5 feet. Width of landing equals 5 feet. The thickness of landing equals 0.5 feet. Concrete volume for landing equals 10.5 times 5 times 0 0.5 equals 26.25 cubic feet. Concrete volume for second flight of the staircase. As the first flight and second flight are the same in our staircase. So the volume of concrete will be the same. Concrete volume for the second flight of the staircase equals 48.525 cubic feet. Therefore the total volume of concrete for staircase equals volume of first flight plus volume of second flight plus volume of landing. Equals 48.525 plus 48.525 plus 26.25 equals 123.30 cubic feet. Quantity of materials for staircase. Well, this is the wet volume of concrete. To convert wet volume into dry volume, you need to multiply with 1.54. Therefore, dry volume of concrete equals 123.30 times 1.54 approximately equal to 190 cubic feet. We will calculate the quantity of materials for the grade of concrete mix M15. Sum of ratio equals 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7. 1. Volume of cement equals 1 divided by 7 times dry volume equals 1 divided by 7 times 190 approximately equal to 28 cubic feet. Number of cement bags equals volume of cement divided by volume of cement bag equals 28 divided by 1.25 approximately equal to 23 numbers of the bag. The volume of one bag cement of 50 kilograms equals 1.25 cubic feet. 2. Volume of sand equals 2 divided by 7 times dry volume equals 2 divided by 7 times 190 approximately equal to 55 cubic feet. 3. Volume of aggregate equals 4 divided by 7 times dry volume equals 4 divided by 7 times 190 approximately equal to 109 cubic feet. Note, here I have used cubic feet unit and M15. You can use cubic meter unit and any other grade of concrete mix.